it is day four of after my surgery. Um, I did not vlog at all, and I did not want to be taped um, day of or the few days following because I was in a lot of pain. Essentially, what you would have seen would have been me either screaming and crying in vain <laughs> or passed out or in shock and silent. Um, I'm in less pain now, but it still hurts. I have to carry this big heavy boot on because it stabilizes me so that I don't move my leg when I sleep. I'm currently sitting in a wheelchair and I can't put any weight on this leg. So I have to hop around, use the crutches, use the wheelchair. I don't really get out of bed except for to use the restroom, which is what I'm going to do right now. And I thought that I'd update you guys <laughs> before I did that. I don't, I, for obvious reasons, I'm not going to take you in with me to the restroom, but I'll be right back. <laughs> the journey to the bathroom was actually pretty exciting and fun. It's like the fun, the most fun I get to have all day right now. For the most part, I just lie down in bed. Uh, my meds are working pretty decently right now, my pain medication. Uh, my pain medication I take every six hours and I take some kind of shot to the stomach once a day. It's for like blood flow and I take a, an anti-inflammatory twice a day. Well, once a day. It's, it's at noon and midnight every day. Besides that, I just lay down. I kind of try to keep my eyes open. I'm even trying to keep my eyes open right now because I'm just so sleepy all the time. And then I wake up when I have to pee. And the process with that is I can't put any weight on my leg. So I have to hop out of bed with one leg and then fall into my wheelchair. Spin my wheelchair around, take the wheelchair over to the bathroom. At the bathroom, my crutches are waiting for me. So I reach over, I get my crutches, I climb up on them with my arm strength, and then I use my arms on the crutches to get me into the bathroom. I get into the bathroom, I put the crutches down, I'm standing on one leg, and I balance on my one leg, and I pull down my undies, and then I pee. <laughs> and then do the reversal when I have to leave. And it's always a little harder to get into my room than it was to get out of it. But I'll figure that out in a second. So that's pretty much the most fun I get to have <laughs> all day besides lying down. Um, and in case you didn't know, here's what they did to my left foot. I'm going to have to have the same thing done to my right foot in about three months after this one heals. God, I'm talking so low. I'm so sorry. I'm just so tired. So what they did was they fixed my bunion. They um, broke and mended my bones because they're flat in order to create an arch and put some stuffing in there to create an arch. Um, and they also cut into my calf muscle to stretch it out over my Achilles. And the hope is that it will, you know, help my chronic pain and I won't be in constant pain anymore. It's not a guarantee that that's what it'll do. I might have to be like Dr. House and just walk on a cane for the rest of my life in pain and deal with it. Um, but hopefully with these procedures, that's our hope right now if you want to pray or cross your fingers or whatever, um, that all this work won't have been for nothing and that I will improve and my health will improve and I won't be in pain anymore. <laughs> okay. I think that's all I can do for now. See you guys in a minute. <laughs>